Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we are doing a timeless reading for you today. It is also a pick a card reading and this is all about manifesting your abundance, okay? So with this being a timeless reading, whenever this reading finds you, and believe me, it finds you, uh, whether it's the day I post it or years from now, that's when the message is meant to, meant to um, be found, all right? So with this being a pick a card reading, I'm going to have all of the timestamps down below, okay? And we have group number one is here with our um, Radiant Wise deck, all right? And that is also represented by a beautiful polished black tourmaline that has flecks of gold in it. And then we have um, we have uh, another beautiful deck here with zero machete. And this is a beautiful rose quartz on that one. And this is the tarot Grand Lux. And then we have the Muse tarot here with this beautiful uh, amethyst on there. All right, so this is your chance to listen to your intuition and to interact with the cards. So if you want to post, uh, sorry, pause the reading, um, pick a deck, whatever one uh, speaks to you, whether it's the deck or the crystal that's on top of it. And if you find yourself uh, flip-flopping between a couple of piles, you may want to actually watch both of those readings um, because there's usually a reason. There's usually um, messages in both of those for you. All right, so group number one, group number two, and group number three. So take a deep breath, listen to your intuition, and let's get right started. And hello, Taurus group number one. Let's get right into your manifestation reading, shall we? So messages for Taurus group number one, please. Manifesting abundance, what do we need to know, please? Thank you. And we have chop wood. All right, now some of you, so the chop wood message that comes out of this deck is one of clearing your mind and just going about your day-to-day -day business, okay? Just do something to take your mind off of your manifestations. And one of the things, one of the keys with manifestations is, of course, to set our intentions, attach our emotions to it, believe that energetically we've already received everything, and then let it go. Let the universe do its thing. When we obsess over what we're manifesting or when we start to go in a rabbit hole of impatience or doubt or anything like that frustration, okay, we block the flow of energy. Sometimes the best thing we can do is just go about our daily lives. Just chop wood, okay? Do your chores, uh, clean your house, uh, go to work. Just go about your day-to-day -day life and just allow the universe to unfold exactly as it's meant to. And when we do that, okay, it actually also grounds our energy. G being grounded in everyday experience, right? Um, kind of recenters and refocuses our energy a little bit. Um, and again, because we're taking our mind off of things. So, um, you know, and manifestation, you know, there's always a delay and it's always about divine timing. Um, you know, but, uh, and it's easy to get frustrated or impatient, um, you know, especially if you're in a situation where you really, really, really need some abundance in your life, right? Um, you know, but again, when we take our mind off of things, then things can really, um, you know, start to open up for us because now we're a little bit more in the flow. All right. And now we have grief coming out here. Tears are what happens when the ice in the heart melts, okay? So if you if you are feeling a little bit closed off, um, if you're feeling um, frustrated or, you know, you haven't allowed yourself to open up energetically um, to receive, okay, there is a very important message there when we get that grief card that there may be something that you have kept hidden, something that you haven't addressed, uh, something that may have you blocked a little bit. And this is the time where you need to open your heart chakra. Okay. You may need to do some, um, meditations. Okay. Get grounded. Okay. You might want to work with crystals. Okay. But there's some, um, guided meditations that you can do as well that help clear your energy, help ground your energy, clear your chakras, open your heart. And that also, uh, you may want to do some cord cutting meditations as well. It's all about um, getting in preparation to receive your abundance. And so it is important to address our feelings. 
and sometimes we think we've addressed something, but what we've actually done is push it to the edge of our consciousness. We haven't quite released something, okay? And, you know, as we expand our consciousness, as we do with manifestations, sometimes we find those things that are hidden at the edge again, okay? So you might get some memory or something. You might get some a flood of emotion, um, you know, as you are expanding your energy and something may come to the surface and you're like, damn it, I thought I dealt with that. And, you know, no, you hadn't necessarily. So cord cutting meditations I find are wonderful. They're, you can find some guided ones. They don't take very long. Okay, sometimes you've got to do them a couple of different times. All right, but when you know you're, you know you're successful because you actually feel a lot lighter. You feel as though there's a weight lifted off your shoulders. And when we have this grief energy as well, not that one yet, when we have the grief energy as well, this is a reminder to us um, that if we do feel, you know, if we're getting impatient or anything, um, you know, and we feel that, um, you know, we're starting to get disheartened about our manifestations taking so long, this is about being mindful of our feelings, okay, not to mention our thoughts, and to be mindful. And if we feel ourselves going down that path of negativity, bring ourselves back to center, address those feelings, why we're feeling that way. And, you know, of course, even with manifestation, there's sometimes a little few bumps in the road, divine detours, we call them, right? Um, but it's a chance to bring things back to the center, be mindful, release anything that is negative, and then reshift your focus onto what you are attracting and onto your more positive, high vibration energy there. So what else does Taurus group number one need to know about manifestation, please? Thank you. And we have, huh, I can turn a downward spiral upwards. Okay. And it says, as you focus on the best of what you do have, even if it is only a small part of your experience, the law of attraction will now bring you more of the essence of that. And so you can replace a downward spiral with a fast moving upward spiral by, by simply directing your thoughts more to things you do want. And what did we just say? If you feel, if you, if you feel yourself getting impatient, doubtful, um, disheartened, okay, that is your chance to refocus, regroup your energies and focus more on what you are manifesting and um, address those feelings of negativity. Okay. Cause there may be a reason address those and then release. And if you need cord cutting meditations or anything to help you along your way, there are a lot on YouTube. And again, they don't take very long. You can, there's ones that are like 10 minutes long and you don't even need to be a master um, meditation expert or anything like that. They are guided. All right, so I'm going to take that ace of swords that came flying out of the deck for you. And uh, that was uh, quite explosive energy there. All right, so we have the ace of swords. We've got the queen of cups. Um, actually, I'm just going to, for a visual, that's where it goes. It goes in the reverse. We've got the sun energy. Yes. And we have the three of swords. And so I'm just going to get another row for these. Thank you. So with the Ace of Swords, we've got the Ten of Cups. Yes. All right. With the Queen of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups. And in case you're wondering, this is what we need to release. Okay. So I re even though these cards came out in the upright, I read them as though they're in the, um, in the reverse. All right. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles coming out with the Sun. And then we have Strength coming out with that three of swords. Okay. So I feel as though some of you have been trying some manifestation for a while and you may, um, you may be, um, a little bit disheartened. It may be taking a while. Okay. Or you're, um, or you may be actually a little bit overwhelmed with the process. There's a lot of information out on the internet and I've seen some, um, I've seen some instructional, uh, things out there where there's like 30 steps to manifestation. I'm like, what in the world? And, um, you know, I, I do a lot of training with people in my, in my day life. And, um, I've done like corporate change management and all that, all that thing. And been a corporate trainer and on and on and on. And one of the biggest things that I can say, keep it simple. 
because when you're doing manifestation, it is really not, there's no need to overcomplicate it, okay? Manifest from a place of abundance. Attach your emotion to it. Sit in quiet meditation for about 10 minutes as you're setting your intentions. Feel all the feelings that you would feel as if you have it in the here and the now. You don't need to be good at visualization. You do not need to be good at meditation. Okay. You just need an imagination. We all have an imagination. Okay. We all have a third eye, right? Remember when you were kids and you made up games and you made up things and you had fantasies, right? Imaginary friends. Some of you tap into that energy. Okay. Sit in your, in the energy of your intentions. Be grateful that for all of the abundance and all of the manifestations that you have already received, because when you set your intentions and you attach your emotions, you have energetically already received all of the abundance that you are attracting into your life. Be thankful, release it into the universe. Okay. Trust, open your chakras, get ready to receive, right? All of your abundance. Okay. Maintain positive thoughts, maintain a high vibe and let things unflow in the timing that they're meant to. Okay, it doesn't need to be too much di more difficult than that, but we always want to manifest from a place of abundance, never from a place of lack. So I quite often, especially since we have uh, an Ace of Cups here and a Ten of Cups here, I quite often do use an example, and you could be manifesting anything into your life, but um, if I, everyone has fallen in love at some point in their life. So if I use the example of calling in a new love, a soulmate, okay, and apply it to your, your manifestations, however, which way you want. Okay. But if you are trying to attract a new love into your life, okay. And you know, you're looking for that soulmate, you're looking for all of the wonderful positive aspects. Okay. Someone trustworthy, someone honest, um, someone who has the same goals as you, someone who is committed, right? All of these positive things, right? However, they, um, however they would, would maybe apply to your ideal person. So when you're setting your intention and you're calling them in, never, ever, ever focus on the negative qualities. So if you have been jilted a number of times, okay, you don't want to manifest from a place of, I don't want a liar. I don't want a cheater. I don't want this because the universe doesn't hear. I don't want what they hear is that punctuation. And what the universe hears is that keyword. Okay. So if you focus on liar, you focus on cheater, you focus on bankruptcy, you focus on, you know, a crappy career, a dead end job, right? I don't want a dead end job. Well, now you're going to get it. Okay. So it's always, um, always manifesting from a place of what you have. Okay. I am financially stable. I am abundant. Okay. And when you're calling in, say a new love, all right, we're going to focus on trustworthy, honest, humorous, commitment minded, goal oriented, whatever, whatever it is there that's important to you. Okay. And that is where you're going to focus. Okay. You want to, you want to try and attract, uh, you know, um, you know, a promotion. Okay. Promotion, um, retirement plan. Okay. All of those positive energies, right. And that's where you're putting your energies when you're manifesting, whatever you put out is what you're getting back. Wherever you focus your attention is what's coming back to you. Okay. So if you've been trying this for a while, cause I'm really getting, um, I'm really getting an energy of disappointment, Okay, and a little bit of frustration that's coming out of here. So we're here to help you through that. All right. But again, there's at the most, if you're looking at manifestation steps, at the most you should do is I think six. Okay, but try and keep it at like four or five, right? Um, because you need to live in the energy of abundance. Okay, and believe that you've already received everything, even if it's not right in your hand right now. Okay, so setting your intention. Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Manifest from a place of abundance, joy, love, happiness. Okay, all of these wonderful things that come out with this beautiful positive energy of the Ten of Cups. And I tell you, you guys, you know what? You have the two happiest energies in the entire tarot coming out in your reading. You have the Sun and you have the Ten of Cups. Okay, 
So and that's the energy that we want to tap into. So manifest from a place of abundance, love, positive energy, um, you know, open heart, okay, and clear communication with this Ace of Swords, okay? Know what you want. Be focused on the positive. This will bring you victory, success, okay? This is the Sword of Truth, right there okay this is also the gift of clarity epiphany from the universe you are tapped into the universe whether you think you are or not okay so stay positive this high vibe energy that comes in with this ace of swords spirit is really trying to give you a bit of a boost here really trying to help you along your way right the universe always has your best interests at heart even during challenging times there's always a reason. There's always something there. There's always a divine detour, always a lesson to be learned somewhere along the way. Okay. But this is your time to shine. So believe it, live in the energy that you have everything that you are, are trying to attract in love, relationships, happiness, abundance. Okay. Uh, clarity of thought, purpose, a new, uh, a new phase, a new chapter in your life, whatever it is, speak it clearly, speak it truthfully. Okay, and be in this alignment with your head, heart, body, mind, soul. Okay, and be open and be ready to receive. All right, and what we are releasing this is why I turn these upside down. Okay, because I'm reading these more as the shadow aspects, even though we do have another ace coming out here, so it's a very positive sign. Okay, even though I am uh, reading the more challenging parts of these cards. Okay, the Queen of Cups is both of these are normally ones of having your heart open, open to receive, being in control of your emotions, healing energy, okay, really opening up your um, emotionally to what you are attracting into your life, okay, energetically, it's already here. But what we need to release is any kind of doubt, okay, any fear, disappointment, sense of loss, anything like that, okay, um, we need to release any of that shadowy side, any kind of um, disappointment, okay, impatience, anything like that, okay, disbelief in the process even, okay, and we need to instead embrace all the positive energy, embrace, open the heart, okay, open the heart, not have it closed off, okay, be ready to receive, not full of doubt, okay, be in this Ten of Cups energy, be in this Ace of Swords energy, and be ready to receive these gifts, okay, because it does feel like some of you are attracting new love into your life, right? And you see there's so much love, there's so much emotion in this cup that it's overflowing. All right, so, you know, so Spirit is really trying to bring you something wonderful and it really requires us to be in the flow, okay? That Queen of Cups, that Ace of Cups, that is being in the flow of the universe. So, um, you know, so in order to release anything, grief, sadness, loss, disappointment, okay, all those things, impatience, right? We need to instead embrace the Ten of Cups. We need to embrace the Sun energy, okay? This Ace of Swords energy, okay? Really having that clarity um, and knowing wholeheartedly that success, abundance is ours and it's here and it's in the here and now, all right? And how do you nurture your intentions once you set them? Well, you maintain your high vibe with the sun energy and with that page of pentacles, understand and know that you are on the first, you are on the path to prosperity. This is the first signs of tangible success that are here for you, something manifesting into your hands. So when you believe and when you're positive and you stay in this high vibe energy and you know that the world is an abundance, abundant place and that some of it is here for you. Okay, this is you receiving your abundance, your opportunities, your chance to, um, you know, receive the blessings that are already all around you that you're calling in. All right, what does this pentacle mean to you? Because the sun is a yes energy, okay, a one of that abundance, the fertility, optimism. So stay optimistic, stay abundantly happy that your prosperity is coming in, your abundance is coming in, okay? It, is it necessarily coming in overnight? No, it doesn't necessarily work that way, and there's a reason for that. There's always a delay, and part of that 
is um, because if we instantly manifested every single thought, emotion that we had every minute of every day, we'd spend so much time cleaning up our mess, okay, that, um, you know, that we'd, we'd never dig ourselves out of a hole. It would be a nightmare. Okay? It would be chaos, okay? Chaos theory 101, right? That's exactly what it would be. So there's always a delay. There's always divine timing at play. It doesn't match our clock, our watch, our calendar. And again, there's reasons for that, okay? And it's to make sure that you really know what you want okay that you really know and it also gives you a chance to course correct anything as well okay um so you know sometimes along the way sometimes something might happen and our priorities may change all right so it gives you that buffer okay it gives you that ability to change that but it also gives you um an opportunity to be completely in alignment all right and to maintain that high vibe and you know, um, sometimes it's a bit of a learning curve as well. When you get really good at manifestation, sometimes things just happen. Boom, 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 boom. All right. But, you know, there's still divine timing no matter what position that you're in, no matter what it is that you're manifesting in. So really live in this high vibe energy of this and this. Okay. And we don't want anything to block our flow. All right. And, you know, your outcome energy here, we've got this three of swords, but we also have strength. Strength gives you the ability to open your heart, to heal your heart, to look past any disappointments, challenges that may happen along the along your way. It gives you a chance um, for opening yourself up and to heal and to release anything that is holding you back, anything that is threatening, um, you know, to uh, overwhelm you, overtake you. Okay, so this sense of loss, this challenge. All right, we're gonna open up your heart. And get you ready to receive all of the abundance that is already here for you. Okay. And strength card is number eight. All right. And eights are, uh, they're about self, but they're also about a few things, but they're also um, about abundance. Okay. So trust that the abundance flows to you. Okay. Have patience. No one ever likes to be told to have patience, but you do need to have it. Okay. If you feel yourself going down this negative rabbit hole here, this tap into the energy. This is Leo energy, but tap into that energy of strength that you have within you. You have the courage to keep going. You have the courage to persevere. All right. And how do you do that? Love, kindness, compassion, be kind to yourself as well. Right. And, uh, you know, and you know, whenever you feel yourself going negative, you have what it takes to lift yourself up and to maintain this vibration. Okay. And you know, you're human. So it's really about being mindfulness, mindful of your thoughts and your feelings. Right. And you know, and it's like, Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, we're getting frustrated. No, no, no. Hold on. Stop in my tracks. Deep breath, regroup, renew. Okay. Now we're going to release. Now let's get right back on with it. All right. So, um, there is that, there is that need there, but you can do it. Um, this, I mean, you've got wonderful energy that's around you. Okay. And you know, it just feels like with that chopped wood energy, you may need to get grounded a little bit. Um, really focus on your intentions again, manifest from a place of abundance. And if you're sitting here watching this reading going, Oh crap, man, I've already, you know, I, I did some moon manifestations and I wrote down, you know, things I don't want. You know what? It's okay. That's why there, that's why there's divine timing. Okay. If you feel, if you feel that you've done something like that, go back to the drawing board. It's okay. Go back to the drawing board. Just release that energy. Go. Oh, yeah. Let's start this over again. Wipe your slate clean and go back to the beginning. Start over. It's okay. Right. You're human. The universe knows what you're doing. Okay. And then manifest from a place of abundance, positive feelings, heart chakra, open, 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 patience, perseverance, and just maintain this beautiful, wonderful, high vibe, optimism, and positive energy of the sun. The sun shines a light on your entire reading. And that is the universe saying, yes, 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 a thousand times. Yes. Believe that it's already here. This page of pentacles. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys, but I'm going to get you a couple of making magic cards. All right. And these have powerful magical symbols on them that you can uh, take a screenshot, take a screensaver on your phone, okay, and they'll help you with your manifestations. So what else does Taurus group number one need to know about manifesting, please? Thank you. And we have 
dragonfly. I'm getting three of these for you. All right, so there's your dragonfly. You bring light into this world. Yes, you do. Okay, don't ever, ever, ever forget that. All right, and the dragonfly as a spirit animal is also one of transition. Okay, I love this. We've got the star, the mystic star, and this is harmony in the home and great friendships. All right, and then our last one here, there's your last magical symbol. And it says little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. Okay, beautiful energy. All right, beautiful activations there for you. Okay, get ready to receive opportunities, abundance, lucky breaks. All right, um, you know, and that's quite often how your manifestations do come in a series of a lucky breaks, um, being in the right place at the right time, opportunities that present themselves to you. Right, always trust your intuition and make sure they're what you want. Okay, and make sure they're what. Um, you know, puts you on your path to prosperity because quite often it starts out as that um, that little opportunity. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you, Taurus group number one, but I really hope there was something in here that helped you along your manifestation, okay? Even if it is something that, uh, you know, brings you right back to square one again, okay? It's okay, all right? It's okay, you're human. It's all good, okay? Manifestation does take a little bit of practice. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily just a light switch. Okay. So, um, but yes, I hope there was something here for you. It may have been a little bit, it may have been the whole thing, but if there was, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can join me in other readings, but I'm sending you a lot of love, light, blessings, happy manifesting. All right. And we're going to move on to group number two. And hello, Taurus group number two. Let's get right into your manifestation reading. All right, so what do we need to know for manifesting abundance, please? Messages here for Taurus, group number two. Thank you. And we have serendipity. Wow, okay, you guys, I will just let you know how very, very fortuitous this card is for you. This is all about luck. And of course, we do have a nice big four leaf clover on there as well as a magical fairy. This is a wonderful time for you to start on your manifestations or for some of you where things are really starting to come in for you. Okay, you're starting to see the fruits of your manifestations. All right, that put you on your path to your abundance. If you are starting on your manifestations right now, oh, beautiful. Okay. You're in a wonderful energy. You're manifesting from a high vibration. You're manifesting from a place of abundance and a place of knowing that the world is your oyster. Okay. And that the universe is infinitely abundant. Okay. Expect lucky breaks, second chances. And if you're, if you've been manifesting for a while, this is also your time. Okay. Lucky breaks, right place, the right time. Um, if you, if there has been, uh, something that you thought had by, passed you by now is the time when things come back around second chances uh, are yours for the taking a very lucky very prosperous very opportune time for you um, to uh, realize your goals and to really manifest in a very positive way I love the serendipity energy it's just where everything just kind of falls into place right place right time Okay, so very wonderful, so very magical. All right, and this that card has not come out with any other manifestation reading, and you are the 11th one, okay? You are actually, well, you're the 11th uh, zodiac sign. Okay, there's three for each one, so you're actually like the, what, 33rd one or something? Anyways, 30-something. So very, very positive energy for you. So let's pull another card. Thank you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And of course, as you saw, that one was flying out. And we have divine abundance. Yeah, baby. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tail and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. All right. 
You do not need to chase your blessings. They are coming towards you. All right. And that's the one of the big keys about manifestation and about abundance, right? You set your intentions. You believe you've already have it. You put your positive energy towards it, right? All of your um, attach your feelings, your emotions to your manifestations, and then you release it to the universe. You do not try and control anything and you allow the abundance to flow to you, allow the energy to flow, okay? Be in that flow, right? Don't try and micromanage the universe. Don't obsess over your manifestations, right? Just trust that since you've already received it, that it's just a matter of time before it gets in your hot little hands. And as we see with serendipity, it's going to flow to you, okay? Things start to open up for you. You're going to start to see your manifestations come to fruition. And quite often, our manifestations um, come in uh, as lucky breaks, chances, opportunities that we need to take uh, that we need to take action on, right? But that puts us, it opens up more and more and more and more. Sometimes it starts small and then it builds, builds, builds in momentum. Okay, beautiful energy. So let's pull another card. Message for Taurus group number two for manifestation, please. What else do we need to know? Thank you. Ah, oh, excellent. Okay. I actually like this energy. So this is the law of attraction Nadexo Abraham Hicks. And this is my manifesting thoughts are buffered by time. Yes, indeed, they are. They have to be. Okay, can you imagine if every thought, every feeling that you had, every moment of every day actually manifested? Oh my good Lord, we would be cleaning up one big old chaotic mess. Okay, there's a reason that divine timing exists. There's a reason that there's a delay between when we manifest and when we uh, receive things physically. There's not a delay for receiving it energetically, okay? Um, but there's a reason for that, right? Because it gives us um, an opportunity to um, make sure that what we're manifesting is what we want, okay? And when we set our intentions and we sit in the energy that we're receiving it right there, right then, okay, then there is that buffer of time before it comes in in our physical world, all right? Because again, we can go back to the drawing board. Sometimes our priorities change. Something, something, sometimes something may happen along the way between when we started our manifestation and when we get something, you know, and we may need to go back and course correct, and that's perfectly okay, and the universe really does understand that, okay? So, um, but there is the reason why there's divine timing and why there's that buffer. So it says, your earth is a nice environment for fine-tuning your knowledge. For here, your thoughts do not translate into instant equivalents. Your thoughts are governed by a buffer of time. If you were instantly manifesting, you would be spending more time trying to fix your mistakes than you would in creating what you want. All right. So very important message, especially if you feel like you're getting a little impatient. Okay. You're starting to get frustrated in the process. Although the energies that are coming out here for you guys are pretty damn good. Okay. But for those of you just starting out, that is such an important message for you to remember. All right. There's always, always a delay. Sometimes we get a divine detour because sometimes there may just be something that we need to learn. Okay. And, um, you know, think of it, uh, sometimes I use, uh, sometimes I use like uh, winning the lottery or something as um, as an example. Okay, can you imagine if you were say an 18 year old, and you all of a sudden won I don't know a million dollars, you'd probably blow that in a week, and then you'd be bankrupt and destitute because you don't have the mature maturity or the life experience to manage that kind of um, fortune uh, right away. All right. But as you get older, let's say you've lived your life, you've had your ups and downs, you've had a lot of, you know, trials and tribulations, and you've had a lot of personal growth. And now you're at a, a point where you're mature. And I won't put an age to it because really maturity has nothing to do with age. 
but let's say, you know, let's say instead of, um, you know, being, you know, just right on the edge of adulthood there, let's say, you know, let's say now a number of years down the road, now you got in that big old lottery win or something like that. You may manage your money a little bit better because now you have, um, you know, you have different values, you have some maturity, you have life experience, you know how to deal with things a little bit better. You're more experienced dealing with people, situations, scammers, okay, all of those things. So it's a completely different um, uh, completely different mindset that you would have, right? So sometimes we get things, um, right away, but quite often it's, um, building momentum. We get those little things one after the other, after the other, after the other. And, uh, that's quite often why we do have, um, that buffer, that divine timing is to help prepare us to receive our manifestations and our abundance so that we don't squander that opportunity by accident, all right, so let's pull your tarot and let's see what else we've got for you guys. Okay, Taurus, group number two, manifesting abundance. So we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Cups, awesome. And we have the nine of coins. Oh yeah. All right. So I'm just going to get another row for these and then I'll go a little deeper into those and explain what each one is. All right. Sorry for that grunt in the background. My dog just had a big old sigh. All right. We have the eight of wands here. Okay. We have the fool. The star. Yes. I love it when the stark energy comes out when I'm doing manifestations, especially right here. Okay. Oh, so much in alignment right there. Okay. And then we also have the moon coming out there as well. Now, some of you may actually have been a little bit undecided between group number one and group number two. Okay. Because uh, they also, was it group number one and number two? No, it might not have been. I apologize. I might be getting that mixed up with somebody else. Um, I forget who had the moon. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I thought it was group number one, but I just got corrected and it wasn't. It was uh, a different reading. Anyways, but the moon may be very important for you. Setting your intentions. So it's important when you're setting your intentions, this ten of swords energy is an ending to something, a painful ending. So it's very important to release Anything that's threatening to hold you back, okay? Any feelings of loss, disappointment, anything like that. You're about ready to start a new chapter, okay? Your struggles, your challenges are over. This is about getting ready to clear your head, clear your mind, clear your thoughts, okay? Um, you know, you're um, put an end to anything that is going to hold you back, all right? And the tens are quite often endings leading way to new beginnings, okay? So where you may have had, um, you know, uh, inconsistent thoughts, okay? You may have had negative thoughts here, all right? This is a time where you're going to change that energy and you're going to focus on this beautiful beaming light that's coming down, okay? There's a light at the end of your tunnel and that's where we're going to focus our intentions on, okay? Um, instead of anything heavy or painful or holding us back, all right? Because get ready here when you're setting your intentions. Okay, the eight of wands. I love the eight of wands when we're talking about manifestation. Okay, because this is a great visual to show you that the energy that you put out comes flying right on back to you. And it's hard to tell with this uh, particular card. Are these because it's kind of a little bit 3D? Are they coming towards you or are they going um, outward? Okay, it doesn't really matter because that's what that's what happens with your energy with your intention setting, right? you put the energy out and it comes flying on back to you. Okay. Quite often, multi um, what do I want to say? Quite often multiplied. Okay. So whatever your, whatever intentions that you are setting right now, make sure that you're setting them from a place of abundance and the positive intentions. Okay. And know that you're being heard. Okay. Know that your intentions are out there. All right. And you know, be, be ready to get them back. Okay. So positive thoughts, positive communication, and then setting that out there. Okay. Throwing that, uh, throwing that arrow, throwing that wand out into the universe and knowing if you throw one out there, you get eight back. Okay. So this is all about positive communication. Okay. Turning that negative into a positive, focusing on the positive. 
all right? And that's where you manifest from. You manifest from that place of positivity, of high vibe energy, okay? And knowing that, um, you know, that all of this abundance is yours to be had, okay? So very important when you're setting your intentions, always set them from an energy of abundance, right? And positive energy, okay? Never, ever manifest with negative words, okay? Because where you put your energy, remember where you put your energy with this eight of wands comes back to you. So if you put your energy into, you know, something, let's say you're manifesting a new career. I don't want a dead end job. Well, then you're just going to get a dead end job because the universe here is dead end job and it's going to be like, okay. And that's what you're going to get back. Whereas if you manifest um, a new career that gives you an opportunity for growth, and security, long-term commitment, okay, those are those words that you want to put out there and that's what you want to manifest, right? Pension, okay, uh, retirement plan, extended medical benefits, um, you know, um, a, a career a company um, that has a lot of growth potential, right? All of those things. And, you know, when you focus on that positive energy and those positive words, that's what comes right back, okay? That's what comes back to you. And that's where you want to focus. Okay, so what you need to release. Now I'm going to flip these right upside down, okay? Because yes, these are two pretty positive cards. But when we're releasing something, okay, what we're releasing is indecision. Okay, the Seven of Cups is typically an energy of, you know, um, having a lot of options, a lot of choices, trying to figure out what you want, what does your heart want, okay, your um, your opportunities and, you know, are really unlimited, right? But it can also be an energy of being overwhelmed. It can sometimes be an energy of indecision, okay? So release anything that um, is holding you back, okay? It's time to make a decision, set your intention, Okay, what does your heart want? What gives you, what fills you with positive energy? What fills you with joy, with happiness? Okay, where does, where does your heart say to go? Um, you know, what gives you the butterflies in your stomach? Okay, um, what gives you that adrenaline rush? Okay, what is your passion? All right, and that's where we want to manifest from, not from an energy of indecision, indecision or uncertainty. Okay, we always want to maintain a positive, uplifting energy. Okay, the this here is also, you know, a reminder to open your heart and get ready to receive. Okay, release any kind of mistrust, doubt, um, impatience, anything like that. Normally, the fool energy is one of excellent energy. Okay, new beginnings, trust, that leap of faith. Um, an innocent energy, right? One of exuberance and exhilaration as well. Okay. So, um, you know, we're releasing anything that is not in alignment with that. Okay. So any kind of fear, any kind of doubts, um, any kind of indecision out that window, it goes. Okay. Remember your thoughts become things. Your manifestation energy is really very, very powerful right now. Okay, and this is really spirit reminding you to be open, to trust, to have faith, put aside your fears, your doubts, your indecisions, okay, open your heart, get ready to receive all of this abundance flowing towards you, okay, attach positive energy, positive emotions, what makes you feel happy, what makes you jump for joy, that is where you're going to attract the most, okay, you are a powerful magnet. Okay, and we need to attract all of those powerful things to you. That eight of wands, yeah, powerful magnet. Okay, the power to create is yours. All right, and be ready and be willing to take advantage of opportunities that are headed your way. Okay, because they're coming. They are coming in. Now, how to nurture your intentions. Oh, yeah. All right, we've got the ten of cups and the star. Oh. I love the star energy. So Aquarian energy right here. And the star energy is one of um, miracles. Okay. Hope, faith, trust. It's your wish upon a star card. It is also one of abundance. Okay. One of, um, you know, 
uh, optimism as well. Okay, the miracles really do happen. This is this message here that know that the stars are aligned for you. And when divine timing is at play, okay, remember that buffered by time, this is your big old yes card, okay, especially with manifestations, all right? The universe is speaking to you here, and we have the star and the moon, okay? So this, the planets are aligned for you. The universe is aligned for you. The stars are aligned for you. It's all wonderful. You need to believe. Stay optimistic, okay? Maintain that wonderful high vibrational energy that you've got there. The Ten of Cups, this is all about abundance, okay? This is wonderful. Look at the difference, between the Ten of Swords, okay? Dark, dreary, you need to focus on this light, okay? Where is this light coming from? The star. Look at that. Put it right underneath, okay? Focus on your wishes. Focus on your goals, okay? And then release it. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that miracles happen. Trust that, yes, your uh, manifestations are coming true and maintain this beautiful, wonderful, high happy vibration all right this is when the stars are aligned for you it's wonderful wonderful energy so and this is what you need to um what you need to embrace what you need to nurture as part of your intentions okay you don't need to focus on your manifestations you need to focus on your energy okay and sit in the belief that the star energy this ten of cups this is what you've already achieved, achieved, okay? Energetically, this is all around you. You're cozied up to that fireplace, okay? You've got your pet, um, you know, hanging around, um, you know, all very content and very happy. Your relationships are good, okay? Your money is good. You've really put a lot of your fears and doubts and worries aside. Why? Because the star card has your back, okay? Um, the universe has your back. And this is sitting in that beautiful, wonderful, calming, peaceful energy, all right? And you're just waiting to put something in your hand. So that is how you nurture your intentions, okay? You don't have to chase anything. Trust that it's coming to you. Divine abundance is here for you, all right? And, you know, when you do all that, you know what? Here we go, okay? We've got the nine of coins, luxury, abundance, Okay, and trusting that this is all yours to be had, but also that this is you um, celebrating your success, but this is all because of you. This is one of being self-confident, taming your fears, your anxieties. Okay, the moon can be about your deepest desires coming to the surface. All right, things that you may have kept hidden for a long time. Okay, it can also be about facing your fears. All right, bringing the truth to light about your situation, okay? Really figuring out your manifestation. The moon may actually be play a really big role in your manifestations as well, okay? Because, um, you know, quite often people do manifestations with the moon, the new moon, the full moon, okay? So you may be doing some of that. If so, this is that reminder that the moon and the stars, okay, everything is in alignment for you. Everything's coming together for you. All right. And you are being protected and guided every single step of the way and luxury abundance success is yours to be had. Okay. So stand in your self-confidence, be bold, be brave in your decisions. Okay. Think big. All right. Wish big, manifest big. Okay. What are you, are you afraid of some manifestation, do you have a deep, dark desire that you have been afraid to bring to the surface? Maybe you think that you're, um, you know, asking for too much, okay? You're never asking for too much, okay? Um, the universe is infinitely abundant, all right? Now, if you're new at manifestation, you may want to start small, a little bit small, because you really do need to be in the energy of um, believing that your manifestations are here and now, all right. And sometimes if you start too, too big, you need to be able to attach the emotion to it. Okay. And sometimes if we start out too, too big, it's almost like biting off more than you can chew. So if you are new at manifestation, you may want to take those smaller steps, those baby steps. Okay. And then that way, as the momentum grows and as you start to see your manifestations come to you, you can get go bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. But others of you, I feel as though you're, um, you're well-versed in your manifestations here and this 10 of swords here and this energy here may just be that little reminder just to kind of get you back on track. Okay. Especially if something has been taken quite a while, because I'm feeling here with this nine of coins, the 10 of cups, the star, the moon, I'm feeling here that you have manifested large. 
Okay, there's something really big on the horizon for you here. All right, and with this, I cannot say enough with the stars and the, the star card and the moon being right beside each other. Okay, um, really positive high vibe energy there for you. Okay, so I'm, I think there's something really powerful headed your way. All right, so maintain this energy. Believe in miracles, all right? Your wishes, okay, are really coming in for you here. Put aside any fears, any doubts, any worries, and believe in this energy. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys, okay? But we're going to close out your reading with a couple of Making Magic cards here. And these uh, these cards are actually activation symbols, so woo, magical power, magical um, symbols that uh, help you with your manifestation. So I'll hold them up to the camera and you can take a screenshot uh, if you're so inclined and uh, they can help you. So one more. Thank you. Okay, jumpy. So let's see what we have. Oh yeah. And there's your power symbol. All right. Cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. Okay, there is your star card energy right there. Okay, um, that's what that power symbol helps. And then oh, we have healing coming here too. There's your symbol. And it says true healing of the mind, body, and the soul. Yes. See what that star energy does? Okay, it brings in this healing. Okay, it brings you into your personal power. Anything threatening to hold you back or hold you down, we're going to release all that. Okay, and then we have achievement. And this says, win the award, accolade, or contract. All right, put that right back up there again. Okay, and that'll help you with your manifestations there if that speaks to you. So I'm going to leave that there for you, group number two, but I hope there was something in this reading that helps you along your manifestation journey. Beautiful energy. Okay, I love it. Get ready. Hold on to your hat. All right. And for those of you just, just starting out or you're just at the intention setting phase, oh, believe all of this is yours. So I'll leave that there. I hope there was something here for you. Um, lots of love, life, love, light, and blessings towards you. Happy manifesting. And I thank you for watching. And if there was messages here, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to move on to group number three. Bye-bye. And hello, Taurus, group number three. Welcome to your manifestation reading. Let's get right into it, shall we? All right, messages for Taurus, please. Manifesting abundance. What do we need to know, please? All right, and here we go. And we have round and round. So first and foremost, um, some of you may feel like you've been here, done that before. You may feel as though you're going round in circles and spinning your wheels, but you know what? Um, at the same time, you're raising your level of consciousness. Okay. So you are climbing this stairway and you are achieving new heights. And sometimes it doesn't quite feel like it. Sometimes it doesn't feel like we've got that connection with our higher selves or with the universe. And sometimes things really stand in our way and, you know, time delays or challenges and you might be, you know, sometimes thinking, oh my goodness, is nothing working? You know what? It is working. Okay. And it is um, very much a reminder there to um, keep on moving forward. Okay. Keep on, um, you know, keep on ascending that level. Okay. And every single time you have a challenge, it is actually an opportunity to learn and to grow. And when we do that, we actually tap into, you know, that higher vibrational energy. Sometimes when we do go around and around a little bit, there's a cycle that you are challenged to break. Okay. There's a lesson that maybe hasn't quite been learned yet. Okay. So when we do, uh, you know, elevate ourselves to a different height, a different perspective, we can kind of look at things from a different angle. So as far as manifestation goes, if you feel as though you've been kind of been here, done that, and you've been going around in circles, no, every single, every single day is, um, an opportunity to elevate a little bit higher. And uh, sometimes, you know, well, most often it is all about divine timing. Okay. And you will get what you need when you need it. Your manifestations really are working. And sometimes there's, um, sometimes there's just, um, part of the challenge sometimes is to be patient. All right. And yes, that is an absolute challenge. Okay. But sometimes we actually end up, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. 
and sometimes in there's a certain a certain purpose to waiting sometimes okay and that can be um, that can be uh, you know learning some patience there can be uh, some personal growth that needs there okay and sometimes there's just like some divine timing that's really at play and it's not that nothing's gonna work for you or nothing's that gonna happen it's just that you know the timing just isn't the here and now you might think it is okay but uh, the universe doesn't wear a watch okay so there's usually something just somewhere there all right it's also your chance to go back to the drawing board if you need to all right, because sometimes uh, we do have that time delay there that to, that allows us to get into alignment. There's always that, um, you know, that delay that's there with manifestation. And sometimes our priorities shift a little bit. So it actually gives us a chance to go back to the drawing board if we need to. And we've got clearing coming out here as well for you. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to God, God, God's such freedom. All right. And, you know, this is where you really start to energetically realize that things flow to you. You're in the flow of the universe. All right. And even the round and round energy, it's still a little bit of a flowy energy there. Okay. So um, no matter what's going on, just know that things are starting to happen for you. Things are starting to shift. Things are starting to come in. So really great things are starting to happen for you. So keep your vibration high. Keep ascending that spiral staircase on that round and round energy. Oh, thank you. All right. And, you know, and it, this is also a chance, you know, if you find yourself going down a rabbit hole of any kind of negativity, frustration, doubt, any of that, it is a chance to recenter your thoughts, regroup your thoughts a little bit, be mindful of your feelings and your thoughts, let go of anything negative and then reshift your focus into that higher vibration. All right. And you can't control every thought of every single day, but you can certainly be mindful. Okay. So we have, oh, okay. We have, I do not need to monitor my thoughts. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Rather than trying to monitor your thoughts, pay attention to how you're feeling. For if you should choose a thought not in harmony with your broader intentions, you will feel the discord. And then you can redirect your thought to something that feels and therefore serves you better. Mindfulness. Okay. Just exactly what we were just saying. Mindfulness. Okay. So, you know, if you, if every single one of your thoughts um, manifested instantly, you'd be clearing up one big old gross, soupy, chaotic mess. Okay. No one wants that. Um, so, you know, um, it's your, um, it's your feelings that really drive things. Okay. And it is also, you know, um, being mindful, not just of your, your feelings, but also if you do find yourself going down a negative rabbit hole, as far as your mag manifestations goes, right? Regroup, recenter, refocus, refeel, renew, and let go of the negative and refocus on the positive. All right. So let's pull the tarot that you chose. All right. Messages for Taurus group number three, manifesting abundance. What do we need to know, please? Thank you. So we have the three of voices. We have the eight of emotions. The five of inspiration. I'll explain all these in a minute. And we also have the devil energy. Okay. And I'm just going to pull another row of cards for each one of these. Thank you. Three of voices has the page of inspiration. Yes. Eight of emotions. We have the seven of inspiration. With the five of inspiration, we've got the tower. There is your power in the tower. Okay. And coming out with the devil energy, we've got the 10 of materials. Okay. Abundance is yours for the taking. All right. Do not get discouraged. So setting your intentions, the three of voices, that's the, um, three of swords energy. Okay. This is your chance to release anything that no longer serves you release any patterns, any thoughts, fears, doubts, you name it. Okay. And instead of focusing on the negative, when you're setting your intentions, instead of focusing on what causes you pain or what has disappointed you, what has challenged you. Okay. Part of your challenge in setting your intentions is to 
manifest from a place of positivity and abundance. All right, when we manifest from an energy of lack or from an energy of sadness, fear, and doubt, we all we do is we attract more of that. Your thoughts become things. So where do you want to put your energy? Where do you want to set your intention? Do you want to attract something in that's positive, that's beneficial, that's abundant to you in a positive way? Because abundance can come in in a negative way as well. Because abundance is a lot of something, all right? And we want a lot of good things for you, all right? Or do you want to manifest? Do you want to set your intentions? Speak your voice, Okay, let your voice be heard in the universe in a positive way. What lights your fire? What moves you? What inspires you? What vision do you see for the future? Where do you see yourself going? Okay, what are you trying to attract into your life? We don't want to attract this. We don't want to attract tears, sadness. Okay, we want to attract high vibe energy. We want to attract something great, something magnificent, something wonderful. So when you are manifesting, instead of focusing on, and you know, if you, this is your first go, okay, or if you've been doing this a little bit uh, uh, for a little while and you're not sure why it's not working, this may be part of that key. And you know, it's really important to focus your intentions on the positive words and the positive energies attach gratitude and positive emotions to it as well. So for example, if you are trying to manifest a new career and you want something with a long-term commitment, something with an honest day's work for an honest day's pay, you want some growth and you want, um, you know, a pension and, you know, the chance for, um, you know, promotions and all of these things, right? And maybe you want a certain career in a certain kind of company um, to work with a certain type of people, all right? It's very important to to um, focus on those energies. So for example, growth, commitment, um, promotions, um, bonuses, um, what, what else? Um, you know, um, a company that is um, benefiting my community, okay, whatever it is that, you know, is the positive side of what you want. You never want to manifest from, you know, I don't want uh, a dead end job. I don't want an a hole boss. You know, I don't want um, to work with a group of people that are only out for themselves, but you don't want to put your energy there. Okay. You want to put your energy on what you want a new love. Okay. If you don't want a liar, a cheater, uh, and someone that's afraid of commitment, don't use those words. Don't focus your energies there. Okay. Focus on truth, honesty, commitment, love, Okay, all of those higher vibrational energies, because where you put your energy, where you put your thoughts and your intentions, that's what's coming back. All right, so um, that's very important. Um, very important when you're manifesting, okay? Because um, the universe doesn't really hear, I don't want, it hears your punctuation. All right, your punctuation is what you're calling in, okay? Um, you know, and with this page of inspiration, oh, it's a wonderful energy. It's attaching that passion, that inspiration, that exhilaration to what you're bringing in, to what you're manifesting. And, you know, this inspiration, it's the, um, the page of inspiration is the page of wands, okay? And what is the page of wands? Excited, okay? Excited and, you know, full of energy and invigoration. And really those pages all have a little bit of innocent quality to them, right? They're setting off on new adventures and they're believing in themselves and they're confident. And it's kind of like that, um, you know, that invincible energy, right? Think of a teenager and, you know, a lot of teenagers or kids, they, uh, they don't think that anything bad can happen, right? Because life hasn't taught them anything different sometimes, right? And some, you know, some yes, depends on their upbringing, right? But, you know, but ultimately it's like an invincible quality, right? Tap into that, okay? Tap into what inspires you, what moves you. And when you're putting out your positive intentions and when you're really um, working on that manifestation, that initial intention setting, okay, it's very important to sit with your intention and to sit with your positive words there and attach the emotion to it. Imagine, okay, tap into your childlike imagination, all right, tap into your inner child even, all right, and sit there and what does it feel like when you get the phone call that you got the job of your dreams? Do you get a rush of adrenaline, right? Does your face go red? 
Um, do you get tingles up and down your spine? Do you all of a sudden start making plans, um, you know, for, you know, for, um, you know, paying off some bills and getting out of debt and all this kind of stuff? Is that what really, um, that really lights that fire, right? And that's really important to do that and just sit there in that energy for 10 minutes and feel it as though it's happening to you and believe that it is happening to you and then let it go. And then just trust that all of this wonderful things come towards you. All right. You don't need to do anything else. You need to be open to receive the possibilities and the blessings that are flooding into your energy and that are flooding into your life, but you don't need to take any other further action. You just need to trust that it's coming in and trust that it's yours and that it's there and energetically you've already received it. Be grateful for it. Be thankful for it. And then when it does come in in the physical form, you're like, all right, I knew this was going to come in. This is awesome. This is great. And as you get better at your manifestations, because you're focusing on the positive, it's like a big old railroad track, right? It's like this, tr this runaway train on a track and things just start to happen faster and faster and faster for you because it becomes second nature to do that. Okay. So, um, you know, again, if, you know, if, if you've, if, if you haven't attached your emotions or if you've, you know, accidentally, um, manifested something like from that, um, place of I don't want something, no problem. Reshift, refocus, renew. All right. And, um, you know, and just start back at square one. It's not a big deal. It's a learning curve. All right. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's not a big deal. All right. The universe knows what's going on. Okay. It's pretty smart. And, uh, you know, just come back to center. That is why there is a delay. That is why there is that delay between where, when we manifest and when we actually physically receive, okay? Um, because it gives us a chance to, um, you know, to live it out a little bit, okay? And also to readjust if we need to. So whew, that went a little long, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so what do you need to release? Ah, emotional detachment, okay? Now, when we have the eight of emotions, so this is, this is in the energy of what you need to release, okay? Okay, so that you can get your manifestations in here faster. The eight of emotions is typically about being emotionally, detaching emotionally from a situation and walking away. And you can also look at, it, look at it as though making an intentional choice to leave something behind and walk towards something better. So in this, in this particular position, the way we're going to address this is to attach emotion onto what you are bringing into you. Okay, what are you calling in? Okay, because normally those eight of emotions, right? Those cups that are usually there, that eight of cups energy, there's stuff in the cups, but it's like, nah, not really interested. Okay, or there's no feeling left there. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to attach that positive feeling, those positive emotions to all of those cups that are already full for you. Okay, you want for nothing. So maintain that positive energy, attach that positive emotion, and then know that it's just all going to flood into you, okay? But be ready and be open to receive the seven of inspiration, okay? We're going to release any doubt, any fear. We're going to release anything that um, is holding us back, all right? And instead, we're going to tap into the energy of self-confidence and belief, okay? Believing in ourselves, believing in our manifestations and believing that this window, this portal to the universe is ours, all right? And believing that this beautiful light floods towards us. So again, it's all about being ready to receive, all right? Anything that's blocking you, okay? We want positive emotion, okay? Out the door with anything negative, all right? We wanna believe in ourselves, okay? What inspires you? Tap into this childlike, beautiful energy of the page of inspiration, the page of wands energy, all right? Anything that threatens to hold us back, hold us down, or, you know, see how easy it is for this person to hold that door open, hold that portal open, that's how easy it is for you to do that. Okay, so anything that, you know, anything that helps you open that door is what you're going to tap into and anything that, um, you know, that prevents you, out, out. We're going to clear it away. We're going to get the broom out of the closet. We're going to vacuum it up and we're going to get rid of it. All right, and we're going to focus on the positive. Now, this one's really interesting. How do you nurture your intention? Five of inspiration. 
five of wands. This is all about teamwork, okay, in this particular one, right? It's about people banding together to achieve a common goal. Believe that you are co-creating all of your manifestations and your abundance with the universe, all right? This is not all every man out for themselves, okay? And this is also believing that even though there's a whole bunch of other people in the world that are manifesting, it doesn't matter. The universe is infinitely abundant, so every single one of these people on this card can achieve their dreams and their goals. There's enough to go around for absolutely everybody, and you see every single person on here has a portal, all right? Every single person. So you can achieve greatness, and you can call in your abundance, your fair share, and trust that even though other people are doing the same thing, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's not like there's a limit, okay? The universe is infinite infinitely abundant and it's yours for the taking okay but again you are co-creating your reality with with the universe okay what you put out comes back to you and that's um you know and we want to stay positive we want to understand that it's a symbiotic relationship that we've got with uh with the universe there okay and we need to maintain that high vibe that intensity okay but we don't want to go in obsession okay because we need to trust that everything's going to be okay it's like i'll step here you step here and you know and it just kind of and as we do that and as we have this little bit of trust okay it we ascend and we move up and we achieve our goals and our dreams but it's because we stand tall and we're positive okay and expect a surprise expect a sudden change be open to change all right in this tower energy look at this energy coming out you are so connected with the universe right now okay clear out anything challenging anything keeping you stuck the tower is here to help you with that and to maintain your positive outlook to maintain your positive high vibration okay and so expect the unexpected when this tower card shows up be open to it. Be open to change. Be open to surprise, okay? You are calling this in, all right? And when we have this tower, you know, some people see the tower and they're like, oh my God, my life is over. No, it isn't, okay? The tower shows up when you're stuck. The tower shows up to clear out energy, to clear out anything holding you back, anything that's not working, anything that's not part of divine plan and part of your future, out the window it goes because we need to make a way and we need to clear out the pantry for the new to come on in because we've got a ten of materials coming in here for you. That's the ten of pentacles energy, friends. Okay, but in order to do that, we're going to need to clean out the cobwebs. Okay, we need to understand how powerful of a force that we are. And when we work together with spirit and when we work together with the universe, wonderful, powerful things can happen because guess what? Some of you, whoops. Whoa, some of you are going round and round. So if you're going round and round, the tower shows up to go, yeah, no, 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 no. We need to shake up that cycle a bit. We need to change our uh, change our outlook. We need to change our perspective. Okay, so, um, you know, some of you are at the beginning stages, right? You're learning. And others of you, you're, uh, you're really headed on your way, okay? And you maybe just needed a bit of a reminder, okay? You may have fallen off the bandwagon a little bit, all right? So, you know, that tower, there's something great, unexpected, wonderful coming in. And for others, this is helping you clear out that energy to make room for something coming in, okay? So expect the unexpected when that tower shows up, but it's always, 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 every single time for your best and highest good, even if there's something challenging, okay, there's always something for your best and highest good with that energy, okay? Um, you know, so um, really nurture your uh, nurture your um, your intentions, okay? But be ready to receive, okay? And this person on this tower card, a little bit different imagery than what you're used to seeing, okay? But this is the universe, you know, and really connected with this person there and this person is receiving this blast of information this epiphany this clearing out of energy all right but she's still standing okay because she's got a good foundation you have a good foundation all right trust in yourself and trust in your foundation okay um your outcome all right your outcome we have the devil energy with the ten of materials so first of all release your ties okay 
release control. The devil energy is about control, obsession, addiction, okay? So there's a reminder here. So while you are manifesting, you need to release control over how it comes to you, okay? Release that control. You can't micromanage the universe. It's all in divine timing, okay? And the devil energy can also quite often be one of obsession as well, okay? So you need to release. And that's what this tower is as well. Release. Okay. So in that serving as a reminder that once you set your intentions and your feelings and all of these things, then you need to release to the universe and trust. You need to release, release the purse strings. I don't know if you can see those strings. Okay. Untie yourself from a predetermined outcome because quite often what comes in is better than what you're manifesting. All right. Um, whenever I'm doing manifesting, I always ask for, you know, a certain something, but I leave something open-ended. Um, you know, I don't, I try not to pigeonhole myself, um, into something. And I always say, or something better, because what that does is that actually leaves the door open, wide open for the universe to send me something a little bit better than what I asked for. All right. And in this case here, you may ask for, you know, say the eight of pentacles, you might get the 10. You might ask for a career opportunity and you might get the job of a lifetime. Okay. So, or it may be something a little different than what you thought it was, right? If you were hoping for, say, a bank loan to come to fruition, okay, or some sort of financial windfall, all right, you may have asked for this much and you may get this much. Okay. So be open to receiving, okay, release those strings there, release expectations, release, um, you know, release uh, anything that threatens to put you to the dark side a little bit, okay? Keep things in perspective a little bit, but believe that you have achieved this 10. The 10 of materials is the big one as far as money goes, okay? Um, big one as far as money, career, uh, you know, ultimate abundance in physical form. It's also about family, about your home, um, all of the things in your material world, and that is the big one, okay? And so the devil is here to remind us that you can absolutely focus on your material world and your, your abundance in physical form, but try not to uh, get too, too tied up in it, too wrapped up in it, because there's um, abundance comes in many forms and it looks different to everybody. All right. And there's always a little bit of a shadow side, the shadow side to everything. Okay. There's always a little bit of a shadow side, but if you keep your perspective, okay. And stay focused on your positive instead of the negative, then abundance and wonderful things can be yours. Okay. So there is a need for a little bit of detachment when the devil energy shows up. It's not, a, it's not necessarily a negative energy. It's your chance to release your strings. It's your chance to stop going round and round. Is there a cycle that you've been on and spinning your wheels, spinning your wheels? Well, this is your chance when that devil shows up. This is your chance to cut loose those ties and, you know, to um, really finish what you started in a more positive way, okay? But it requires a little bit of perspective there, okay? Um, so it, what it does is actually that brings that up into your consciousness, okay? And that allows you to free up your energy and bring in the wonderful things that you're manifesting into your life. All right. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Okay. Leave on that high note, that 10 of materials. The devil is all about um, abundance too, especially in the material form. But again, perspective, a little bit of perspective. All right. So I'm going to close out your reading here with some making magic cards. So these are, thank you, uh, cards which have magical symbols on them to help you on your manifestation. So I'll hold them up to the camera. You can take a screenshot if you want and um here we have our cards all right um things always tend to jump around a little bit when that tower comes out so there is the philosopher's stone and this is your symbol right there okay powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy oh yeah believe it okay believe in the power that you hold this tower is your power okay believe that all right, what's our next one here? And there's your next one, and that is the love charm. And it says, attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. <laughs> okay, you guys are not messing around. There's your, um, your symbol for one enchanted evening, and that is the perfect night. So we're going to put that right beside your love charm. Okay, 
and because that doesn't have to be anything new necessarily okay it can also be improvements of where you are and we have labyrinth transition to a higher level of being raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment and if you want to look at these two right beside each other round and round round and round told you raising your consciousness there you go i'm going to leave that there for you guys i hope there was something in here that helped you whether it was a little bit or the whole thing okay hopefully something helped you on your path to your manifestations okay so if there was please don't forget to like share and subscribe i thank you guys so very much for watching love light and lots of blessings to you okay and um happy manifesting all right i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching Bye bye